Let's just hope and pray that this goes okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. If you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Charlotte and today is quite exciting. It's quite an exciting video. I've been wanting to film something like this for quite a while and I get that I say this in every video. This is so exciting. This is uh, something I've been wanting to film for ages. Whatever. The other day I was on my period and bought a bunch of stuff off Charlotte Tilbury. Is <laughs> Someone needs to take my bank card away from it because it's just, it gets too, it's too bad. Luckily I didn't splurge out. I mean, I did, but that was on like a handful of products. So today I am going to be kind of reviewing them, seeing how they work on my skin. I'm really excited to try it out. As you can see, I've already currently got my eyebrows on. I'm just going to clean them up a bit now because I have been working all day, so I just wanna him the brows. So I'll just do that really quickly and then I'll get back with you. So we're back. I've kind of tamed the eyebrows a little bit. Just trying to stop. <laughs> okay. Also, sorry if the lighting's just a tad bit, maybe too dark. I'm hoping that maybe in editing I can lighten it a little bit. So, like I said, I bought a bunch of stuff off Charlotte Tilbury. Can you hear? Uh -huh. It was probably over a hundred pounds that I spent, which I guess in a sense, if you buy enough Charlotte Tilbury, it isn't a lot. But for me, like I remember I spent, I think like a hundred and 20 pounds on Beauty Bay and I got like 10, 11 products. Whereas I've only got five. So you know what I mean? But I also did get some um, samples of products as well that I've wanted to try. So I thought might as well. So I'll run through these samples firstly. So when you purchase, I think it depends on how much you purchase, but I was able to get two samples on each of my orders. So I got the sample of the Charlotte's Magic Cream because even though I did purchase it. I got this from my mom so she could try it out. Then I also got the Magic Eye Rescue Cream. Just kind of wanted to see how it works and how it would work on my skin and if it would kind of help. Then I also got the Wonder Glow Primer. So I will be using that today because I want to kind of get back into primers again instead of just moisturizers. And then I got the Multi Miracle Glow. Now it's kind of a matte and they come in little packs like that. And it kind of gives you a blurb on what they are on, on the inside. But yeah, the, you kind of, it does feel like you get a lot of product in there. So I'm gonna start off firstly. So what I love about Charlotte Tilbury is just the packaging. So as you can see, it just says CT and that's my initials as well, Charlotte Kristen. So it's kind of like, ooh. And it does feel like it's quite personal because it says Charlotte's Magic Cream. So yeah, I've, I've got that. And then you just slide it out like so. And then it's just like a little box that unfolds. It gives you step by step, just on the side here there can you see can you see probably get a better close-up yeah it gives you step by step of just like how to use it and then it just comes i got the smaller tub because i kind of want to try it out first and see what it was like this was 49 pounds i believe and this is the 30 mil tub but it just comes in a little tub like that and it's just really cute packaging and just looks really pretty so that was the first thing that i purchased then the second thing for the face was the airbrush foundation so this is the airbrush flawless foundation stays on all day and all night and i got it in the color 7.5 neutral because i will only be using it when i am tanned because when i don't have tan on i don't really wear makeup i kind of just stay in the house however when i do have tan on i'm more out and about and going places that's the reason that i put it on so i just got 7.5 which is the same color as the maybelline fit me that i use at the moment and i like the packaging of this as well so it's really cute and pretty gotta say um, so that's another thing. Then I also got the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. Now the thing is with this, I did kind of like swatch it last night and it does take a good few twists of this to actually get it out, which is annoying. But I'm guessing a little goes a long way. Now that was all the color of it last night. And because of twisting, that's like 
it just goes up. So hopefully we get a good use out of that. Then I also got the Eyes to Mesmerize pot in Oyster Pearl. Now this is oh, stunning. It just looks like that. It's a nice kind of like goldeny with a slight brownie undertone. So I'm excited to use that today. And then finally, two of my favorite things. I got the Pillow Talk Lip Liner in Medium and the matching lipstick as well to go with it. Now what you will find is obviously the lip liner is just a slight bit darker than the lipstick just so you can get that contour but that is the lipstick oh so pretty so yeah we're gonna try all these out today kind of see how it works and yeah let's just get into the video so the first thing like i said i'm gonna use is the magic cream moisturizer so i am just gonna use whatever is just on the lid here so don't really want to use a lot now i am aware that it is quite thick so I'm just gonna see how it works out. This has SPF in it, so this would even just be like okay to wear if you were just gonna moisturize for the day and then go out. It's SPF 15, I believe that it has. So let's just mix it into the skin. Oh, it does feel really nice. So it does feel quite thick when you're applying it to the skin. However, when rubbing it in, it kind of starts to break down and feel really nice and creamy. I'm just being careful that I don't mess my eyebrows up for the second time today. That does feel really nice though. Just kind of give like a little bit of a softer glow. I think if you were to kind of really look at the skin. So now that I've applied that, I'm gonna go in now with the airbrush flawless foundation like i said it's in 7.5 i'm just gonna pump a bit on the back of my hand two pumps and then i'm just gonna take my real techniques buffing brush and just start to blend that out now i can already see that is looking quite airbrushed can you kind of see that Does smell nice as well i've got to say just look at the difference already between the rest of my face to my forehead and the color and my only thing with foundations recently is that they sometimes can just be a little bit too orange and make my hair look ginger if you know what i mean you know when it gets into your hair a little bit but i'm not seeing that with this and i think it's because it's got more of a yellow tone to it so i am just going in with just a smaller real techniques eye brush just to kind of get around my eyebrows i'm not leaving any white spaces and then also just a little bit around my hairline as well now i normally do my eyes before foundation but i do feel like in this sense right now because i am using um kind of a cream based shadow i'm using the eyes to mesmerize that i don't actually need to use it first because i hardly I, I think there'll hardly be any fallout but we'll see now my skin already looks like incredible see what the concealer can bring as well that's what i'm excited for because i need a concealer that will just take away dark circles uh, it's gonna go straight on i've got to say i do kind of like applicators like that it's very quick and easy and simple and just to the point Whereas with others, it is normally just a little bit annoying, let's be honest. So I'm just going to take the same brush, just start patting it out. And I'm going to bring it onto the eyelids as well, just kind of as a base. Even though I know your eyes do bring more oil. I do think with a lot of products as well, it is how you apply them. So if you're, if you're patting it in, you'll probably get a better payoff.
do think with this concealer, it is one of the better ones that I've used because normally when I use this brush for my concealer, the product kind of gets a bit messy and it's a bit too loose for you to use in terms of it's already very dewy and liquidy whereas this kind of has the right amount so that you can kind of pat it in and it still have the right effect that you need it for if that makes any sense also if you see me looking off to the side a lot i am just kind of using my camera as a mirror as well as looking over here now already my skin does look kind of glowy and hydrated i guess you could say looks really nice and I don't normally get this payoff with foundations and concealers. Obviously, I'm probably gonna ruin it now by applying contour, but we'll see. Maybe the lighting's better now that I've moved my ring light. So, whilst we let that set, I'm gonna go in with the Eyes to Mesmerize in Oyster Pearl. I'll just give you a quick swatch. I am just gonna take a little bit of my finger first of all and just apply it on my eyes just like so and what i'm gonna do is just take an m433 and just start to buff it out a bit and i'm just gonna keep dipping back in a little bit to just build it up i'm just building it up for the intensity that i'd like i'm just using a really light hand to just blend it up a little bit but it just blends out so nicely i think maybe next time i'll get like i don't know maybe like a gold or something it's like putty that's what it feels like when you dip your finger or your brush into it i think this would work really nicely if you do like a, a dark smoky kind of look and then put this over the top of it i just think oh that would look magnificent so i'm just gonna go back in just with my powder brush just to kind of clean up any edges that i don't really want just kind of soften out the edges a little bit. It's so nice on the eyes though. It's nice and glittery. I do love a good glitter eye though at the moment. I am a whore for a glitter eye. I'm just gonna take a darker kind of bronzy shade just from my Morphe 25D palette just to kind of blend out the under eyes. So just with whatever is left on the brush that we used for the glitter, I'm gonna blend it out a tiny little bit and just, just like so. So now I'm just gonna pop some eyelashes on and then I will be right back. Okay, so we're back. So I've just applied some Tati lashes in TL21 and just my MAC highlighter in soft and gentle which is a throwback so now i'm just gonna finish off the look with pillow talk now i'm very excited to use this so i'm just gonna go in with the lip liner first now the first thing to notice about the lip liner is that it is goes on really soft it's nice to uh use actually so now i'm just gonna go in with the lipstick This is the finished look. Now, my overall thoughts are that the products are incredible. They're so creamy, they're so soft, they're so liquidy and dewy and just like really nice to apply to the skin and kind of sometimes, especially with like the cream eyes, uh, eyeshadow, normally when you use something like that, it, it's not as easy to move around. It's not as creamy, but I absolutely love it. And I think I will try it with kind of like a smokier look next time and put it over some brown shades maybe that might work but yeah i'm really happy with the outcome of this it does look my skin just looks really nice the only time i've seen it look this nice is if i get my makeup done and that's rare i've had my makeup done twice and every other time that i do my makeup it never looks like this so all products that i've used will be linked in the description box below as well but if you have enjoyed this video then please give it a huge thumbs up hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below so you never miss a post and comment down below let me know what you think what videos would you like to see have you enjoyed this video etc etc all my social media links as well will be 
in the description box below as well. I hope you all enjoyed this video guys and I will see you next time. Bye!